द क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड जनरली द थिंग दैट आई विल बी टेलिंग यू वोट बी शेयर विद यू विद दिस क्वेश्चन बट देर आर थ्री फोर थिंग्स गुड थिंग्स दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गो थ्रू इट फर्स्ट ग्रे कास्ट आयरन ब्लॉक्स ऑफ दिस साइज विद अ सेंट्रल स्फेरिकल कैविटी ऑफ डायमीटर फोर एम एम आर सैंड कास्ट सो वी हैव अ क्यूबॉइड ऑफ गिवन डायमेंशन and this is the dimension that we finally want in the casting and it has a central cavity central hollow section of diameter 4 mm the shrinkage allowance for the pattern is 3% okay it's given in percentage and the question is asking that the ratio of volume of pattern to the volume of casting is how much get previous year question set to 2 marks the first thing that will come to your mind is it has given the pattern allowance in percentage so how to do it because i told you that generally the pattern allowance is given as a linear dimension not in percentage as a linear dimension like 10 mm per meter 15 mm per meter like that it is given it in percentage does not matter maybe it has written 3 mm per 100 mm correct instead of 1000 mm it has given it in 100 mm so 3 mm by 100 mm is 3% only but you may doubt yourself if you think like this you may doubt yourself that maybe you are not thinking right maybe this is volumetric ratio given maybe this is volumetric shrinkage given it is saying that volume is uh, you know shrinking by 3% or things like that it's not linear it may come to your mind now how to cross check it if this was volume percentage if this was volume shrinkage use your logic it is actually asking you the ratio volume only so will it ask ratio of volume by giving you directly the percentage uh, ratio in two marks no hence you can conclude it from your aptitude a in gate stand for aptitude so if you have any confusion like this then you can use your aptitude use your logic to uh, you know break through it but i told you that generally we use that di dimension for uh, you know pattern allowance but it can be in percentage also but it is going to be a linear dimension a linear allowance not the volumetric allowance any percentage allowance given will be linear only unless volumetric has been uh, you know specially mentioned so this is first thing that you need to understand okay second thing look at this the dimension 100 mm multiplied by 50 mm multiplied by 10 mm what is the total volume of casting it is 5 and then 40 mm cube correct 50000 mm cube the size of cavity is very small 4 mm cavity the size of cavity is 4 by 3 pi r cube let me get the calculator so it will come out to be 268.08 mm cube 50000 mm cube of cavity of casting and a cavity which is not even 1000 not even 500 mm cube that's so small if you take its ratio it is coming out to be 0.005 so you can see how small the cavity is do not bother about the cavity do not think even uh, that there is a cavity because its size is so small that you do not need to consider any change in the volume of that cavity because you need to find the change in the volume of uh, total casting for pattern and for the casting but the size of cavity is so small that any change in that will be even smaller so you can neglect the cavity in this case okay that's going to simplify the things for you this is another thing that is needed to you need to see in such questions second point this now it is a question of gray cast iron there is a very interesting history of gray cast iron actually in gate 2004 similar question was asked and it was from gray, gray cast iron only in two marks only and it had four different options and at that time since the gate did not release the key so whatever answer the major institutes said or whatever answer became popular that was considered to be correct everyone used to write that only so 
during the time when I was preparing, it was a general notion that grey cast iron shrinks, means sorry, grey cast iron expands. The pattern of grey cast iron needed to be made smaller. Generally, we made the pattern larger because it's going to shrink. But for grey cast iron, the pattern is to be made smaller because after being solidified, it expands. This was the general notion. Many, not many, every institute gave their answer according to that only. But in GATE 2016, IISC conducted GATE and this question was asked. Obviously, every one of them followed the same notion that was popular and they thought that since the after solidification in the solid region it expands so pattern is made smaller so that after expanding it reaches the accurate size hence if pattern is made smaller this ratio will come out to be less than one because it's asking volume of pattern to volume of casting but IISC gave the answer as greater than one and this notion which was running through all these years was broken. It does not happen. Grey cast iron does not expand upon solidification, means after getting solidified. The pattern is to be made larger only. Grey cast iron, solid grey cast iron will shrink only upon cooling. But in liquid phase, it, you know, by a small margin expands. When the liquid region cools, it expands. Due to some flakes and all, you do not need to uh, go into de go deep into that. But if grey cast iron expands upon cooling in liquid region, when till it's liquid, then it means that it does not need riser because riser is needed for shrinkage. It's not shrinking; it's expanding in liquid phase, so it does not need riser. That's the one thing that you need to keep in mind for grey cast iron. Otherwise, the calculations are going to be as normal as they are. Now let's come to the calculation of it. The ratio of volume of pattern to volume of casting. Volume of casting is 100 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 10 all in mm. The volume of pattern, uh, the shrinkage for pattern is 3%. It means that a size of 100 mm will have to be made 3 mm larger that is 3% of allowance for every 100 mm make 3 mm extra for pattern it will shrink that much so this dimension will become 100 multiplied by 1.03 similarly 50 multiplied by 1.03 similarly 10 multiplied by 1.03 correct so these will cancel ultimately you will have 1.03 1.03 cube which will be almost 1.093 okay this is the answer for this question there is one more thing which is something where students get confused initially or when they do not solve a lot of questions they think that if this allowance is given 3% it means that 100 mm will shrink by 3 mm that is also one interpretation. You can interpret that 100 mm for any 100 mm length, you have to make 3 mm extra. You have to make 3% of that extra. That much will shrink. Or you can think that for every 100 mm, the length will shrink by 3% or it will become 97. Which one of them is correct? The one which is correct is that you have to make it 3 mm extra for 100 mm. Do not think that 100 mm is going to shrink by 3%. That's not what the allowance means. Allowance means how much extra you have to make to compensate that. If you think that all of both these cases are same, then they are not. If you divide 103 by 100, it will obviously be 1.03. But if you divide 100 by 97, then it is going to be 1.0309. So in terms of percentage, it is 3.09% if you consider 197 as the two numbers. So it's not exactly 3%. So do not get confused into this. This is the extra length. Allowance means extra length, extra dimension that you need to make in order to compensate the shrinkage. Okay, so these are, I told you four things into this video. I will recommend you to go through this video again and note down all these four points. 
Thank you.